Hey, good evening, everyone. It's Tuesday evening. Thank you. Baby. And I think we can officially say that our truck problems are behind us. Come on, sweetie, let's go inside. <clears throat> As I was saying before my kid tried to run away, I really think we can say our cooling problems, heat overheating problems, are behind us. And uh, we've been working now, kind of after our break, to install all of the T-posts on the perimeter of the fence. I had an uh, awesome neighbor's son, Otis, come over. And we spent the last couple hours just getting them all installed. I still have to do this perimeter, but I want this all open so I can come in here with the tractor and do another nice level job. And I had Bianca come up with kind of a floor plan or an outline of kind of the general areas she wants of the of her yard our yard and yeah some of these posts aren't all the same height but it's all good we'll come back and get that later we have about 200 feet of fence we need almost 300 so i'm gonna have to go get another old fence this next pay period and then after that it's going to be finish it up time. I am really excited. It's been, you know, it's not a huge project, just kind of tackling it here and there. So it's stretched it out, but I'm excited to see it uh, wrapping up. And it's going to be nice for the dogs, for my daughter, for us. Have a nice place where we can just have clean and outside fun, you know. So Bianca leveled all of the 4x4 corner posts, and we backfilled them to be 5 feet out of the ground. Then what I did is I went around with two strings along the perimeter. This one is totally out of slack because I snapped the line way down, but it was taut when we were using it. Had one on the top, one on the bottom to help align the T-posts. If we look like all the way back here, it's actually a pretty pretty nice and straight line you know it's not bad for amateurs and uh, that helped align the posts and then I took a measuring reel hooked it on the 4x4 post measured down and have some tef had some Teflon tape and just tied a knot exactly every 8 feet so it's like 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 and then I think we actually had to go to 50 something feet on one of the posts Bianca pointed out to me after I was sitting here, her super excited that, uh, how am I going to get the implements out? Oh my god, I forgot the implements inside. I got too ahead of myself. I have the mower, and that other big orange thing is the box scraper blade. I gotta figure something out before I put the fence up. Thank god I didn't put the fence up, or I would have just... Yeah. These two right here with these markers on it are a little bit too short. They're like at my stomach almost, my belly, as opposed to like my sternum, which is not where they need to be. One of the challenges with this was trying to figure out exactly how tall every one of the T posts is going to be because the terrain's, you know, very uppity downy. And we just decided now oh, we'll just go for sternum height, you know, like this one I can already tell is a little too high because it's at my jaw. And uh, this one isn't exactly at an eight foot interval because there happened to be a giant hole here in a rock, so we just moved it over. Eh, whatever, you know. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the perimeter and starting to clean up the inside of the yard and put everything in its place. Get the tractor in here for a bit, clean it up, re rake it, and then we'll go from there. Yes, this is exciting. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. That's all I have for tonight. There's no real big sunset, or I would have showed you. It's just the Sahara colors. Have a wonderful evening. Tomorrow's Wednesday already. See you next time. Well, I lied. I'm actually going to share one more thing with you before I let you go. I thought it would be fun to show you 
the plan. Uh, Bianca and I in college, we met in drafting class, uh, 3D modeling class, and I would say we probably go to way too much of an extreme when we plan big projects. Uh, we go into full drafting and everything to scale. Uh, it just really helps us know everything and where it's going to go and visualize it. Anywho, this is the yard. This is the cabin right here. This bathroom doesn't exist yet. What we want to do is come out the house, out the porch, build a covered porch. We have that inflatable pool that kind of goes north-south. Bia wants to take it and put it right on the edge of the porch and have it going east-west. Now, this right here, this is the existing apricot ring uh, that we have over here on this corner. And then we got the fire pit. This line is going to be a fence that we're going to add, like a smaller one, to keep the kid out of the area. Just because it could be dangerous, you know. And then over here, we're going to have a garden. We're going to call it Bia's Garden, because she wants to have something to play with that I do not touch. And then the rest of the yard is all play area. Free game for the kid to run around and do whatever. Also, the dogs. I imagine on the garden, I'm going to have to figure out some sort of better fence or whatever but I'll let Bianca design that and then I will install it or build it but that's pretty much that ah, it's going pretty good so far we're right on schedule got a lot to do but it's a lot of fun see you next time have a good evening